We got Dan versus uh, uh, Ratboy Genius. I am hella tilted. Because I don't know. Um, neither of these guys should be here, but here they are. The sound is super, the game sound is super quiet. That's okay, though. So, got the names backwards and everything. I am a mess, guys. How are you guys doing today in the chat? How are you doing? Is that Bean Dips in the chat? Big Bro, Manny Carillo, and Tony Kim. All the friends are here. Your favorite scrub talking shit about Wiffy. Um, yeah. I'm pretty annoyed because to get my run back, I have to beat Geo and one of these fuckers. Well, actually, both of these fuckers. That's super annoying. Ugh. I might just drop out and hang out with you guys for the rest of the day. I'm, like, super tilted. And, yeah, that's how it goes, though. But enough about me. Let's talk about these two fucking upset gods. Rap Boy Genius taking out I Love Bagels. And your boy Doximus Foximus beating Cloudburst. Forcing out the Squirtle and sending his ass back to the Pokemon Center. Uh, we're just chilling. But yeah, I'm hungry. And I can't get something to delivery because it's fucking terrible outside. It's 9 o'clock over here. How's your day going today? Chatamus, Fatimus? Yeah. He indeed did. Rat Boy Genius is just Dirty Dan in disguise. This is a new tag. He's a rapper now. He's a aspiring SoundCloud rapper, not a joke. Damn! Oh, well, Geo's the only savior we have for a fucking Mewtwo cancer. Ugh. Someone got Teal's phone number, I'm gonna tell him to teach me how to play Meta Knight. Fuck it. Everyone else is playing top tier. Oh! Geo, hey Geo! How you doing, man? That's great, I'm glad to hear it. Just hanging out, talking about this sick ass winter semi set. Do you wanna talk about how stupid some of the characters are in this game? Cause I'm with you today. I mean, um, I don't think it's just, it, it's like, it's hard to debate what's really dumb. It's more of just like, what's easily accessible to characters. Yeah. Like, as like, Bowser, for example. Okay. Like, he's not a great character, but his crowd cancel like, ability is easily accessible and easily exploitable. Like, you don't have to really have a deep understanding of the game to be like, I'm gonna mash this button every time these scenarios happen. Um, there's ways around it, right? But then you take it a step further with, like, a few characters like Meta Knight and Warrior, where it's like, they miss a punish, and then they all have just the positioning and the tech and everything to really just, like, it doesn't, it, it can make multiple mistakes. For, like, the, the reason why top players complain about tiers or players complain about options is that you know for every five neutral wins you know your, your opponent has to win you know, fewer it's like and, but then again you could always argue well your punish game has to be better right but the thing is it's like you still know your option like you can still say if you di out it's like di in if you smash di in this i'm gonna be able to get you know x y z follow-ups but the problem is that like characters like snake characters like Warrior characters, they just like, they they just like every 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 move that they have just like seems to kind of like link to like, one another. Where like it's like like walk, for example. It's like there's so many scenarios where you're just gonna trade with your opponent, or, or like the ability to be able to you know type and react, you can't chase with that, but react to if they don't get the tech. 
like with such a strong move. Now you say like shield is the is the is the is the answer to that. Well, you know, warrior has might and he can use might as a DI now. You know, and fight is so so good. That's why you see such fight heavy warriors. Um, I forgot what that region that boss was. Not warriors. I forgot what that warrior. Is. But like that. That's why like. That's why upsets don't really surprise me, because it's like, sometimes you're just not going to want to play a matchup, or sometimes you're just going to be like, oh, I didn't know these options, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you talk to melee players, and they lose a set, like top melee players, and they'll be like, oh, I ended this, or something's wrong, he has to do this. They can break down options, but like, the PM players have a tendency to say, like, I didn't know what the fuck was going on in that matchup, which is kind of like... Kind of, kind of suckish in a way because like not a lot of like growth comes from just saying that, you know. You like why did you why did you suck at the match? What what did you understand? You can't like you got some hits, you got percent, you got stocks. Like what led to those? What what led to those decisions? You need to break it down. It's it's really boring stuff, honestly. Like, it's boring stuff that you have to like iron out. And like for a, a lot of mid tiers and low tiers, sometimes it's just like not worth it if you're not a punish heavy mid tier. Like DK was successful not because he had fantastic neutral options, it's because his punish game was easily accessible. But you needed the, the brain behind it, you needed the execution level behind it. And somebody in you know, Thunders fit that bar. But this is why you're starting to see more and more DKs just have this consistent punish game. Now that somebody's like like Thunders, you know, like back then Isaiah showing that hey, Falcon can be played in this way, and it led the meta to go in that direction. Like you're gonna see a lot more like like stagnant punish games where you're gonna see you know people lap things out and it's just gonna be universally true, right? But it it's like. It, the, the thing about like talking about this too is like there's not enough data like not enough people are good in, in this game to do that, that many matchups you know it just that's it, it, it's like it's, like there's nothing special about SoCal or there's nothing special about the other regions the only thing that that dictates how they grew really one of the main factors is their region location like you, like you, you, you yourself control. You know how far you and how successful you are. But like your chances and your resources just increase. In like regions like SoCal, like especially from that way. Like, dude, so many, so everybody gets good in SoCal. Everybody gets good in heavy regions, like, especially the fat local cities. I agree. Like you were, you were talking about you're trying to like build people to to want to beat people and everything. Uh huh. I I don't know. Like, does anyone really care about beating me? No one cares. No one cares about beating Blue either. I think uh, besides Matt, besides Cloudburst, I think maybe a few others. Well, I'm talking in Phoenix, bro. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing that like says that says, "Wow, I really want to beat this floaty player." That's just like, you know, narrowing in my face every time I try to combo him. But I, I feel like if uh, I feel like if me and Blue uh, were kind of like more more even, and we also were got upset, had a tendency to get upset, I feel like that would motivate the scene to get better. Like, you know what I mean? Because that, that, that mountain to climb wouldn't be as high. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure it gets disencouraging like, losing to my, like, most people losing to my secondaries over and over each, each week. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why I also want to just analyze what people sets. It's a fun thing to do, too. It is a fun thing. I honestly enjoy analyzing other people's sets more than myself. Me like too. My, my own sets. I don't analyze anymore at all. I just kind of think about it, and then it tends to work out. That or I get super tilted.
Hey. I did it backwards. It's kind of at, at a similar level than what it was. No, you're right. I feel like if you you and Kevin were like at my or I'm at, then it would be a lot more a lot more easier for more attainable. You know what I mean? Because there's definitely like an AZ top heavy you, Kevin, Ray J, and then everyone else. It's a scramble after that. You know what I mean? And like, for myself, right now where I'm at is like, I feel like I need to focus on building the community and the stream and the TOing stuff before I try to get better. Like I can try to do both, but it's honestly a very difficult task. And if someone who has TO'd and tried to play before, they can vouch for me very difficult thing to do not only that I have to stream make sure it's a good stream I'm all by my lonesome now that J Jax and Z-Man have both left uh, he hasn't been here for like three weeks yeah he's uh just just taking a break be back. but um yeah AZ AZ is a fantastic place to be a mid-level player who wants to have a good time but if you're trying to get good it is most certainly a struggle it is most certainly a mountain especially because you have people like Jesus who just kind of show up and shit all over everyone whenever he wants yeah. it's pretty discouraging it's pretty frustrating because yeah. you can have some random just show up like Grab Boy Genius did last week and he got fourth place he just beat the fuck out of everyone it's like, or Wiffy Cat, he just showed up, played Mewtwo, and now he's in fucking Winner's Finals. You know? Yeah, it's, um... And, like, like you should say, try that in NorCal. Like, NorCal is, like, in the situation that Geo's talking about. There's a lot of good players there. It's not top-heavy. It's pretty, you know... I guess it is top-heavy, huh? Thunders and then everyone else. But they have, Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty top-heavy. Yeah, like, it's... But it's, like, the, it's not that they don't have... I don't know even know who's below... Who is below number two? Prep? No, it's uh the doctor, I think. Oh, the doctor. And then like I don't know after that, I don't remember. I don't follow PM regions inside of hours if I'm being a thousand percent honest. I watch like Manny play, and that's about it. Yeah, I, wa <laughs> I watch SoCal. I watch Manny. Play. I watch my boys. It's got more stylish. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It is fun, but like it's rough, you know. And then now everyone's like picking up top tiers, and like it's really frustrating. Uh, For me, it is. I feel, I feel, I'm, I'm finally feeling the, the, the gap of my character. Like, I never felt it before. I always just blame myself. But now I'm just like, that was, like, you know what I mean? I was beating this guy, like, two weeks ago, and then he switches to Mewtwo, and now he's kicking my ass. I get what you mean. Like, that, that character would seem like it just invalidates yeah. you. Yeah. Especially offstage. Just in general. Is using Ed, oh, that's using Wiffy for an example. I, I just that that's a character that is, that that is hard to sometimes just be like, this is still a Smash. <laughs> yeah, no, that's an anime fighter character. Yeah, this is definitely an anime fighter character. What is he doing? Z-Man's uh, in a so Z-Man has a uh, has been single the whole time he's been running the PM, and you know the meme that you get a girlfriend, it's over for you, you never come back again. But when you've been doing that for so long, and then you you, you find a lady, he's He'll gone. Back. He'll be back eventually. Yeah. Probably. I think what, what's going to happen is I'm just going to be running the streams, and then whenever there's like a bigger tournament, he's just going to pop up and handle that. Girls don't last unless you're a healthy person. And girls don't you're last. You're an unhealthy person to begin with. Sorry. You're playing PM. You're an unhealthy person. I'm sorry. Yeah, dude. He's too bad. Like, how do you even say that? Like, you're in the bedroom, and they're like, well, why... What is this channel you're subscribed to on YouTube, babe? And you're like, oh, don't open that. Don't open that. And then it's just me screaming. And then, and then it opens up. And it opens up to Matt fucking singing the Pledge of Allegiance. The, or, excuse I mean, the you, the, anthem, the not, National Anthem. The National Anthem, right? Yeah. And it's just like, what are you into? And it's like, oh, I'm into this video game. And you're just like, that's one of the first videos you see. Yeah, that's a little awkward. I just tell girls I mean Kirby, no. 
They love Kirby. That's how girls I play melee. Oh, they and love then, melee. And then if I'm really serious, I, I tell them that you know I fuck with it. I, I fuck with PM. The secret to ladies dating 101 with uh, mean bagels. No, I'm just kidding. No, honestly, like I tell people straight up at work or anywhere, like yeah, I play Smash. I love it. It's I don't explain thing. it. I don't go into detail, but yeah, I tell them too. I don't. I, don't, I try not to like yeah, gush the, about it. Just you know. I'll, I'll gush about. It. I'll be like, dude, it's fucking sick. Think of chess, but like chess on like on steroids. And then they're like, oh, okay, that sounds pretty sick. And I'm like, yeah. That's it. That's it, dude. And then they stop talking to me. But like, <laughs> at least they know what I'm passionate the about. The water cooler's been awfully lonely ever since to talk about PMG. Oh, back throw into flash. Are we gonna get docs in, in winners finals? What the fuck happened to my cyber room? I'm sorry, dude. I thought it was a best of three. It's okay, man. It was a best of three. I thought, Dad, yeah, no, I thought it was a best of five. Right? Oh. See, I don't even know how to count. It's okay. You and Snake Mains have that in common. Oh, and he's dead. Ay, ay, ay. Whose man is this? Anyways, you got a match. The PR's gonna be fucked this season. Hell yeah, dude. The PR's already fucked. Docs, would you like to give your commemoration speech to the chat for making winners final? Do you want to tell them how you feel? How do you feel? No, how do you feel? Why? I don't. I'm the best. Oh my gosh, I'm all the way. I'm going to body this kid because he thinks he's good at Mewtwo. Oh, all right. I feel bad. Never mind. I don't feel bad. I deserve this. I went 0 2 at low tier city. We got the I Love Bagels going with Juice. Oh boy. Go get him, Tiger. Yeah, we all have to wait, dude. Fuck. Rudy. My eyes. God damn it. Docs, are you okay, man? No. Let's have some fun for the rest of the night, guys. Let's uh let's let's talk about some bullshit. So you guys ever think about like flies? Like the bugs? And how some of them are like really fucking small and stupid and annoying to hit? But some of them are, like, really, like, big and ugly and, like, really easy to just, like, slowly put your hand over, suffocate to death. Why is that? Is there, like, how many species of flies are there? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand. Do you, you know what I'm saying, Docs? Yes. Docs agrees. These are the, uh, the falls of being in winner's finals. Yes. I wouldn't know. This doesn't happen to me often. Welcome to the club, kid. <laughs> what? <laughs> Aren't you in like half of the winners' finals? No. I'm I'm bad. Remember? What a legend. Well. You know what's going to be great? You've been freed from the shackles of PM bracket. I don't think I'm going to meet uh, activity requirements for this PR season. Yeah? I'm also going to... The season's going to end in, like, freaking December anyway, so no one's going to remember about my sick wins. Well, you beat Dan and you beat Bagels. Cloud. Cloud? Yeah, whatever. Everyone beats Cloud. Hmm? Everyone beats Cloud. This is my first time actually beating him. Is it really? Weird. I, well, I've never... I think the first time I took a game off his Squirtle was last... Uh, you have to play... Milk's in bracket? Are you Man. kidding me? You know, Aspoop changed his tag to warm milk. Warm milk? I'm okay yeah. with that. I, I, thought I, I thought I'd let you know. Yeah, I didn't know that. Fuck. What the fuck do you want? He's gonna be like, who is my, uh, who is my bracket next, man? And then... You're waiting. That's on stream. I'm in winners.